Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Welcome to another episode and another year of In The Craft Room. We welcome 2022 and wish you all a happy new year. This year, I'm determined I'm going to complete the quilt. We're on the last legs of our quilt and I'm going to be adding in the roses appliqued around the central panel applique today. And to assist us in our roses, we've got issues number 72, 73, 74 and 75. Let's get cracking, we've got quite a bit to do. To applique our roses, we've got two pieces of Bonder web. We've also got the rose template which includes the rose and the leaves from a previous edition which was stashed away. We're going to be using this to trace all of our pieces. We've also got the green for our leaves. This colour here for our rose, the main body of our rose. And I've also bought separately a pale pink and a magenta as I'm not going to be embroidering all of the details into the rose I'm going to applique these on as well and these are the colors of the embroidery yarn which I've matched up quite well. I'm going to start off with tracing all of these template pieces on our bonder web. I'm also going to number them. Let's get cracking. So all of our rose template pieces have been traced out onto the bonder web. I've traced one set at the top and one set at the bottom. We're going to need two exactly the same, one for the bottom and one for the top corner of our applique. So we're going to be working on two roses today. It's time to cut this out really carefully. Bonder web template pieces have been traced out and cut out and placed on their designated fabrics. My job now is to press them onto their fabric and to cut them out very, very carefully. So all of our pieces, our rose centers and the petals as well as the leaves for both of our rose appliques have been painstakingly cut out. I'm going to be looking at our original map and plan which we put together of the central panel applique border to work out where the roses and leaves etc fit onto our central panel applique. I'm going to begin with the bottom rows on our central panel applique and as I place the pieces down I'm going to remove the backing of the bonder web. I may have to press them as I go along. Thank you. 
So we've appliqued the foundation of our rose at the bottom of our central panel applique and I'm now going to be doing the same at the top. I have to say that this is so important for the placement and because we've got so many pieces we need to get them in the right spot. And here we have our two roses, one at the top and one at the bottom of our central panel applique. That, it looks pretty simple, but it is very time consuming. I was hoping to have all of my applique extras in, but it did take a long time and I'm going to be leaving that till next time. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had success with your two applique roses. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.